Welcome back everyone. Sorry for the wait, I just got back from holiday. I went on the varsity trip in France, which is a ski trip that the universities of Oxford and Cambridge do every year. So I've got some exciting Alpine content coming up for you guys. Anyway, today we're going to talk about this. Tidal Fix sent me this. This is their Cinesoft filter, uh, or diffusion filter, or mist filter. It's got many names, uh, but Cinesoft filter is the official name for this one. If you haven't heard of a Cinesoft mist filter or diffusion filter before, what it essentially does is any light in your picture, it kind of diffuses, like the name suggests, and gives it all this kind of dreamy, hazy look. I'm going to put three photos on the screen now, just to show the effects of each. On the left hand side you can see the unedited image, that's just a normal photo, um, unedited, raw. In the middle you've got the Tide Optic Cinesoft 12.5%. And on the far right, you've got the 25% or one quarter. So the original plan was that I'll put this Tide Optics Cinesoft filter on my Sigma 56 lens and get some POV shots around London. But instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a three-way POV photography comparison video because the day that I actually wanted to go out with this filter, I forgot it. But thankfully, David and Shane uh, came in clutch and let me use their filters, which happen to all be different brands. So, without further ado, let's get into it. If you just kind of lean against the wall and get quite close with your face against the wall because the light illuminates you. And then, ooh, I'm gonna try... Why is it so dark? Oh, one sec. 1.4. That's nice, yeah. Maybe look up and that way. Chin down a bit. Mm, chin back up. <laughs> Cute. Show ya. Oh, I like the bokeh. Yeah, I think I can make that bit blue and this bit mm -hmm. orange, kind of. Missed one all nice. Because mine is prayer. I swear we're all kitted out with the Tide Optics, aren't we? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pat. You, uh, you guys are with Tide Optics. I'm with Tiffin. Oh, you're with Tiffin? <laughs> Tiffin gang. Boo, boo. It's cancelled. One more. One more. Oh, I know. I'll kick her again. MTS, this was a sick idea. Because they um, they were, they used to use it to promote their shows. Yeah. Oh, I beg you. That's why I'm using Elf Bars for at the moment. So I'm I'm kind of <laughs> so my default is using my favorite vape, yeah. and I'm like, oh, let's treat yourself. <laughs> I use the better flavored vape. <laughs> <That's awkward. laughs> <laughs> so, oh, so many, I've got so many issues. Does the nicotine, do you get a buzz at all? Ever? No. 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 Yeah. Not at all, mate. It's yeah. just like to revert to normality. Yeah. Hey, okay, welcome back to another POV. Today, I was going to take shots of the Christmas lights with a mist filter, but I'm an idiot, so I forgot my mist filter. The one day that I needed it, I didn't bring it. Thankfully, yeah. David came in clutch and gave me his moment Cinebloom 20%? 20% filter. So I'm going to use that for a bit. Once David goes home, I'm going to use MTS's mist filter and, you know, could be a comparison video or something. Take a shot of the billboard in the background. I'll wait for the background to be a bit cooler. Yeah, something like this. I kind of like that reflection in the bus window. I might wait for another bus. Let's go into burst mode because I'm taking photos of buses. The reflection of the billboard will hopefully look quite cool in the bus front window. So I'm going to try and do that. I quite like one person to just be in front of it, but there's a lot of people. 
Oh, this is cool. She was way back. <laughs> so far, what I like most about the moment, I mean, it obviously takes good photos, but the fact that it's red just looks kind of cool, especially on the black body of the camera. I was just saying to these guys that I wish there was more color options for cameras. I mean, the black looks slick, it's cool, but I do feel like they could do a bit more in terms of options for us. I know you can put a skin on, but it's not quite the same. I'm recording, mad. Maybe something low down from here. One to five shutter speed, aperture all the way down to like two. ISO up to 1000. Actually no, 500 is enough. These are cool. Shot this angel. Oh yeah, that's cool. Focus on the underground sign. Boom. Wow. Okay. Surely. The car lights are kind of blue, so maybe shocking. I'm going for an orange teal edit, I know, but maybe an orange teal edit. Oh, is it dirty or the mist is going? It does look milky, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks I think very... it might be the moment filter. Like, all my photos look very milky. It's like, it's very heavy. <laughs> thing. Maybe it's just the strength of it. It looks like they need dehazing kind of thing. That's, that's what it reminds me of. I think I think 12.5% is like the sweet spot for mist filters. 20 and 25 is a bit much in my opinion. Oh my days! Oh my days, that was so peak. She like tried to climb on the pole and fell. You can kind of see like artifacts when using the mist filter. We're just by Piccadilly Square and <laughs> someone's just taken an actual shit on the floor. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna put it up in a video. Um, <laughs> also, most people were also very excited about the poop. Um, okay, David's left now. So I'm now using Shane's Tiffin Black Pro Mist. And I'll just take a photo of this random scene, see if there's any noticeable difference. Very similar. I think it's more. I think the Tiffin Black has a bit more contrast. The the moment one at times seemed a bit milky. I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it. Like there was more hazy. Yeah, hazy. Exactly. <laughs> but I need to back up a little bit. That's the 85, 85 life, man. Very lovely purples. I'm a fan. Oh no! <laughs> Peak! Ah, there we go. Okay, let me take a photo of this tree first. I was gutting, I was going to take a photo of this uh, Cartier building, but they got like construction works, so it's a bit shit. Okay, Christmas tree. Further back. As much as I can. Get low. Ooh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Maybe I should have brought my Tamron with me today. But no, a good photographer doesn't complain about his gear. He adapts to the tools. Improvise. Yes, <laughs> improvise, adapt, overcome, right? This is fine. This is a cool shot. I like this shot. Boom, banger. And another one. Um, okay, what else can I do? Aperture to 1.4. Shutter speed to compensate. 
focus on the star maybe this like horse person oh actually just landscape looks cool as well oh, i've got a thumbnail i mean this could be my thumbnail okay again <laughs> I need to think of different thumbnails. I've done the like hold up your camera with bokeh in the background a few times now. Okay, that's kind of cool. Maybe I can get the tree in more as well. Let me go over here. What are you thinking? Oh, through the thing, okay. Oh, okay. Focus on that ball. And then maybe one just focusing on the single ball. Oh, that's nice. Good shot. Uh, good call, Shane. I like that. Oh, yeah. Very clever. Okay. Look at that. Oh, I like this. Uh, I'll do one more of the horse person. Okay, here. Also, we're just talking about the mist filter and what I haven't done tonight, but what it is very good for, and I'll put some photos up on screen, mist filters or Cinebloom, whatever you want to call them, they have different names, but they do the same thing. These filters are very good for taking portraits because they really soften the skin of your subject. So <laughs> if you're like me and you can't be asked to do Photoshop retouching, um, <laughs> you just slap a mist filter on and your model's like face looks really nice and smooth. Um, but yeah, I like to say, oh yeah, I want to keep my photos natural and all that bullshit. But the real reason is because I can't be asked to learn Photoshop and it, I, it, it scares me, it scares me. When I open Photoshop, I just don't know which button to press. <laughs> but yeah, I should probably watch some tutorials at some point. This is kind of cool. This is also cool. But yeah, I'm going to try one wide shot and then we can go. Got my 12 mil on. This time without the mist filter, because I can't really be bothered. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Okay, we're back home. What are my thoughts on the three filters? So, in chronological order, uh, the first filter I used, and the filter that's actually mine, is the Tide Optics Cinesoft 12.5%. This is actually the subtle version of the Tide Optics Cinesoft lineup. Uh, they have a stronger one as well, which is a bit too strong for my personal taste. The 12.5% hits the sweet spot for me. Uh, just as a reminder, these are the photos that I took with it. And I just really like the softness on the modeled skin and the effect that it has on the lights. Next up, uh, the second filter that I was playing around with, that was David's Moment 20% filter. Again, this is just my personal taste, but I found it was a little bit too strong in terms of the diffusion that it gave for the lights. A lot of the shots were a little bit milky for my taste, as I mentioned earlier in the video, so I probably wouldn't use that again in the future. The last up was Shane's Tiffin Black Pro Mist filter. I would say this one was very comparable to the first Tide Optics filter in that it was quite a subtle haloing effect. The diffusion of the lights wasn't so strong that there was a milky sort of tint to the image, but it is a lot more expensive than the Tide Optics filter, so if I had to give a personal recommendation, I would probably go for the Tide Optics Cinesoft Subtle 12.5% filter. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'll hopefully upload the next video in a week's time, but no promises because I've just got back from holiday, which usually means that there's going to be a lot of work that I have to catch up on. Right, that wraps up the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll hopefully See you next week.